So in this video I'm going to be connecting to a uh, BBS um, in 2021. So for those who don't know, a BBS stands for Bulletin Board System uh, and they were very popular uh, back in the uh, 80s and 90s um, before the internet was commonplace. So BBSs work very similar to dial-up, but instead of dialing up to a ISP that will send you the internet pages you request, you're dialing up to um, someone who's hosting a BBS. Um, so they'll have a, uh, a modem on the receiving end of their line and then there'll be a BBS server running. So these days BBSs have mostly been replaced by you know, chat services like Discord or Skype or whatever. But they, um, they do still exist. Um, more commonly now they use the internet because you know there's no point paying to make a phone call when you could just do it for free. But I'm going to be doing it the old school way and um, dialing in um, using an actual modem. So I'll talk you through how exactly this works because I haven't actually got a real phone line hooked up to this so I've of course got the uh, DOS machine that I'm using just for um, nostalgia purposes so this is a uh, 486 machine it's the top one we're using and then this is hooked up to this um, lovely creative sound uh, sorry modem blaster um, serial modem um, I actually bought this new in box um, it had never been used which is uh, kind of funny it came with actually um, this um, AOL free trial disk um, completely unopened. Uh, I have no idea, I, doubt, I highly doubt this will still work, but if whatever you <laughs> want to try it, then go ahead. So yeah, this modem is hooked up to the 486 machine uh, by Serial, and then this has a uh, phone cable running back over here to this PBX phone system. Now this isn't necessary for this particular setup, I just have it for other reasons, like I have these phone extensions um, around the uh, house here that hook up to this PBX. Um, but anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So the main style to show really is this top black box here. Uh, and this is what's called an ATA, or an Analog Telephone Adapter. So what it does is you log into a VoIP service on it. Um, so you've got an Ethernet cable, so it's IP based. But then on the back, it has two what's called FXS ports, which are just phone jacks. So any other device that is connected to these phone jacks, um, as far as it's concerned, it's connected to a real phone line. But everything boots over VoIP, which, fun fact, even most um, quote-unquote PSTN um, services, plain old telephone service, whatever you want to call it, uh, actually runs over VoIP in the back end now. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a very good chance that you're just making a VoIP call when you pick up your landline. Uh, anyway, we've uh, got sidetracked, so that's how it works, and the program I'm using to actually connect to VBS is called QModem, specifically this is QModem Pro. So I've actually got a BBS saved on here. I've got this BBX, uh, BBX, this BBS here, which is actually a UK hosted one. Uh, you see this number there. Uh, ignore the um, pound two in front. The only reason that's there is because um, I've got two lines coming from this VoIP box here. And um, if you know anything about VoIP, you know it's got some compression um, you know, things and optimizations, and basically they mess with the modem signals. So. On the main line I use, I've got all that turned on, so I can you know, hear people better and whatever. But on the second line, where I want to make modem calls, I've got all that stuff turned off. So it sounds terrible for voice calls, but it works much better for this. So that's why I specified I specifically want to use line 2. So uh, that's the only reason that's there. So it should be as simple as just uh, dialing up. And there we go. So let me try logging in. And here we go. Ah, I have a new mail. So obviously there's lots of different BBSs that exist. Um, so there's lots of different layouts. This is just one of them. And I, um, I've got to be honest, I don't have that many experiences with BBSs because I didn't use them in their heyday because I uh, wasn't alive. <laughs> But there's some pretty cool stuff we can do. Um, so obviously we can talk to people, we can transfer files, um, 
we can send and receive emails, which is very cool, but we can also play a couple of games. So I thought we could check some of them out. I can find where they are. Ah, this is it. So yeah, basically this is just a uh, drug dealing simulator. It's um, all text based of course, but it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> I played a bit of it the other day. Um, although, of course, it doesn't seem to remember uh, what you've done. But that's fine. So that's, uh, yeah, it's just a buying setting, like a comedy based game really. Let's buy some drugs. Um, what's cheapest? Weed, of course. then we can travel and then try and resell it for some more. So weed was worth 154 when I bought it. Let's see what it's worth. 189. Let's see if I can get more if I go somewhere else. No. Ooh, there we go, 345. That's what we want. That's a nice profit. So that's uh the gist of this game. <laughs> There's another one, this is Minesweeper. And I, uh, I'm pretty terrible at Minesweeper, so this will be fun. Ooh. I suck at that. So uh, this one we can change uh, my avatar. So I haven't actually got anything saved on the uh, drive. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I wouldn't think I do anyway. Um, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'd have to um, give it a file path. So I'll bought that. Uh, I can set it to one of the pre-made ones if I want to. Some pretty cool ones here. Gaming. So there's not uh, too much more really I can show off on here. I mean, uh, if this BBS had more people on it, it'd be much more you know, active. But this one, then yeah, it's just one or two people, one or two people on here, um, which is cool, but not too much to show off. But I just wanted to show you know it's entirely possible to um, dial into these old, old school BBSs, you know, over actual phone lines or with VoIP, um, you know, whichever one is easier. And uh, there are some that still exist. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching.